Hi everyone, it's Evsketch your fashion drawing tutorials and this is the seventh part of how to draw wedding dress crush course. There are nine more designs of wedding dresses, so check out other tutorials as well. I had a request to draw an Indian wedding dress and I think it's a good idea because Indian dress has very rich and complex embroidery. I'm preparing my model. If you like this pose for a model, you can download printable template from fsketcher.com. On the top of the page you'll see a menu bar, there is a link downloads and there you can get free printable templates for the tutorials. Right now I'm drawing the accessories on her head and then veil. I'm adding more volume on her right because that part of sketch is quite empty and drawing her top. So there is stripes of golden fabric because uh, the most part of her dress is red but she has some golden elements and golden embroidery on the top of red fabric. I'm drawing her necklace, it's gonna be a flying bird. I was thinking about different ways of drawing the hemline of her skirt. So I decided to make the central part a bit higher, so it reveals your feet and the shape of the skirt something more like a mermaid skirt. Adding some accessories and then outlining everything with a fine line pen and getting rid of the pencil lines. For the mid-tone of the skin I'm using tan pro marker and to show the shadows I'm using cinnamon color and in the end just to increase the contrast I'm using brown pencil. Let's pick the color for your dress. So I have several options. Um, hot pink, then ruby, and crimson, maybe also magenta. I'm picking ruby and crimson. Okay, so now I'm holding ruby color, showing the shadows, coloring the ribbons. Uh, and your sleeves are transparent. For that, now please spread the ruby color on plastic surface, then take tan, mix it with ruby, and just color that area. So basically we are using skin tone and mixing it a little bit with um, red color to show that transparent area is slightly red. After finishing, just spread your marker on clean paper and that's that's how you're going to clean it and it's going to be okay i did it like thousands of times with a dark red which is crimson in my case i'm adding shadows and now using red pencil to add red tone a bit more to transparent area in my case I'm not using uh, bleed proof paper, so if you want to fix some bleeding of marker you can use white ink gel pen. And now I'm using it for accessories on her head. So I'm drawing dots with a gold metallic marker. Usually in art supply stores you can find this really useful thing because you can draw on the top of the marker. and. Uh, just try to find it. It can be a branded one, like I'm using Letra Set metallic marker, but you can buy some unknown brand. It, it really does matter. And usually it's not very expensive. So then with a white ink gel pen, I drew like wired lines inside, nothing specific, adding more shadows with a crimson color. 
and with white ink gel pen now I'm going to draw embroidery. Basically I'm just drawing flowers with leaves like a child would draw. It's a sketch. You don't have to draw very detailed embroidery. Just you should deliver the idea. With these wired pencil lines add texture on the stripes, on the golden stripes of the dress. And a little bit of the same thing with a pen. And now I'm adding some glitter using correction pen. And on the top of it I'm using gold color. It's a brush marker. Like it's just slightly dark yellow. And with a red pen I'm adding dots on transparent sleeves. So first I'm defining the shadows using ruby color. So I'm just drawing in some way shadow area. And then I'm using crimson since it's darker tone of red. With the front light the sides are usually also dark so I'm just showing the sides, adding more shadows on the fabric and then I'm going to color everything with ruby or just red, it depends on what you're using. Okay, so now with a metallic gold marker I'm drawing the embroidery, so showing the pattern. And again, it's important to remember that fashion sketch as a sketch, not as an illustration, is something that is designed to help people you're working with, like uh, pattern makers, sewers, uh, embroidery makers, all those craftsmen, yeah. So you don't need much details. For example, if your original pattern looks like this, let's imagine that is quite detailed. It has many, many different um, elements. It, on a fashion sketch, it's going to look differently. You will not draw it with so many details. You will draw something like this. So to deliver just the idea, because the pattern, it will be a different drawing just for the pattern itself. I'm drawing something close to floral pattern but actually it's just many random white lines but of course if you have specific design you will draw something that is close to your uh, design of the pattern and now we need to make this embroidery shine. Uh, I actually don't like white ink gel pen but I'm showing it as an option. I think it's too thin and uh, not for my style of drawing. Yes, so we will use correction pen later. Now veil. I'm using salmon pink color of Promarker because uh, it's, it's really like light red. So I'm not coloring totally the veil, especially I'm leaving the edges white, as you can see, close to fine liner lines. It's, I didn't color, I didn't touch the bodice. And I'm coloring the area under the skirt with cool gray three. Now it's time for correction pen. So I'm coloring on the top of those lines, not everything. So, and mostly I'm coloring the central area more. And in between the patterns, I'm adding more patterns with correction pen. Just don't push too much so the liquid doesn't come out in big amount. I'm also adding some dots. So this pattern is really, really detailed and uh, there is no, not much of free space. I'm using poppy red, which is really bright red, to make this dress glow, mostly coloring near the shadow area, so just 
on the sides of the folds. And uh, after that, we're going to work with the details. For the bouquet, I used uh, as a base color lavender pro marker and then Liliac for the shadows and use correction pen. So I didn't draw the flower with much details. After that, use your uh, red pencil for the veil. And we are almost done with this sketch. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to FSketcher channel, like it on Facebook, follow on Instagram, and uh, share your suggestions and questions in the comment section below. And see you next tutorial.